So today's topic is what are the five warning signs of orthorexia? And so this is a little bit more of a sensitive topic, and but it's something really important that Debbie and I wanted to share with you. So we're going to first define it. So orthorexia is an eating disorder. It's characterized by unhealthy obsession with eating foods that one considers super healthy. It often leads to significant dietary restrictions and ex anxiety around the food choices. There's this fine line here between our training as health coaches and uh, what we cover. So we, though, can recognize this kind of behavior in clients and work in conjunction with a skilled therapist who's been trained in eating disorders. Hopefully, if you finish by the end of this video, you finish watching it, you're going to be aware also of the signs of orthorexia and understand how it can lead to some serious physical and emotional health issues. It, it can be very serious at times. It can cause Mal malnutrition, mental health disorders, um, like we said, and anxiety, depression, and overall, you know, your light, your quality of life has decreased if if you have this disorder. So it's uh, hopefully you'll be able to recognize it in um, when it when you see it. So, saying that, this is a tough subject, and so we really appreciate you listening on in on the conversation. I'm Debbie, and I'm Wendy. We're Nourish coaches, and we're nationally board certified health and wellness coaches. And if this message resonates with you and you're interested in following our conversation, please subscribe and share it with others. So a couple of points we want to make. Some that we, We've got five ideas to share with you. And the first is that uh, folks with this eating disorder have ex an, an extreme focus on food quality and purity. So uh, individuals with orthorexia become like ultra consumed with the quality and the purity of their food. Oftentimes they spend this excessive amount of time researching and purchasing and preparing foods that are, we call them quote unquote clean or right, very diet culture-y. Um, and it, it becomes a bit of an obsession uh, rather than just being normal health conscious behaviors. Um, so they can really interfere with our daily, the daily life. Yeah, and I think that's put that little star on that because th that's the difference because you can be really tuned into being healthy and, and nourishing, but it, it goes a little too far and it, it, becomes, it becomes disordered in a sense. So another spine of that is is being really super rigid with your eating patterns um, and, and your restrictions. So you you, it, you are doing this yourself as if you're the one with self with orthorexia, it's yourself imposing these restrictions around around eating. It's not like from a doctor or somebody else, although it may start that way. Um, but you're eliminating entire food groups at times like sugars or fats or carbs or all animal products completely. Um, and you're obsessive um, over avoiding foods. And again, these are extreme situations. It's not just, you know, mild, mild behaviors here. Um, it's it's that you really think that these foods are unhealthy or unpure, impure. You know, there's that idea that it's it's tainting you in some way. So um, they usually get stronger over time. These restrictions they get they escalate and they lead to an extremely limited diet. And that limitation really is where the malnutrition can can come into place. So there's a lot of anxiety and distress over these food choices too. It becomes um, like this intense intense guilt, you know, or or shame uh, if they deviate from the rules at all that they have self imposed even just slightly socially if they are someplace that where they can't control the food and what's in the food they can um, become very fearful of being out in public and being connected with other people so it can become uh, a reclusive kind of uh, attitude because Absolutely. of the social yeah yeah that's that's one of the biggest problems is because you become socially isolated in lots of ways and it, it, uh, orthorexia really really affects relationships because the dietary restrictions can lead from a person withdrawing from social activities completely um, it puts a strain on relationships just like any disorder does you know people are very upset about it and very careful about what they say to people who have disorders 
Um, so families and friends may be ostracized or they might be pushed away um, as the person refuses to eat the food and or if it's not being prepared the way they want it to be and it, it can cause big relationship problems with that. Um, so they usually tend to end up avoiding social gatherings and becoming more isolated, which only increases the anxiety and depression. So um, it kind of snowball. Everything seems to snowball with orthorexia. The physical symptoms uh, happen as well because of potential nutritional deficiencies. So even though there's this uber, fo uber focus on health, the extreme limitations of the diet lead to deficiencies um, like weight loss, weakness, uh, extreme fatigue, tired, um, in severe cases, uh, malnutrition, simply because complete food groups are being left out. And the, the person becomes in denial, really, of the seriousness of their body weight and, and deficiencies that are happening. So it, it's a serious, it's a serious thing. Right. Yeah, I, I actually had a client in the past who had ortho orthorexia and I, I recognized it right away. Um, I didn't tell that person that I thought that because I could tell that he probably would have denied it um, and just claimed it to be I'm being really healthy. Um, and so I just I, I did the best I could with just listening to him and trying to find instances where I could maybe say to him, perhaps therapy might be a thing you can try. If you have any questions about any of this or any comments, please use the comments below. Um, get in touch with us. We always respond. Um, we're interested in hearing your your stories, your opinions, your questions on this topic. If you or a loved one feels like this, you might be suffering from this, please seek therapy and work with someone who specializes in eating distort disorders, which is not what we do as health coaches. So we're bringing it to light because we see it in some of our clients and we want to make sure that people are recognizing it. And we, we will work in conjunction with a therapist, with a client who is seeing a therapist, but we will not work alone with someone who has orthorexia or any other dis eating disorder because we're not trained to do that. Right. So we appreciate you listening and um, we have a giveaway for you. If you look below, there's a link to our seven day wellness challenge. And in that you would get an email every day for seven days that gives you a challenge. There's a few to choose from, from and you can choose the challenge to increase, to get your habits um, in a place that are more nourishing um, every day. And hopefully after the seven days, you can stick to some of those habits as well. And so if you would like personalized one-to-one -one coaching or group coaching, please visit us at nourishcoaches.com and get connected. And remember to subscribe so that you can get more information about health and wellness.